This is a small lesson extracted by the classes I'm giving in my watercolor course in Lecco, Italy. So the third lesson uh, was dealing about the uh, creation of an impressionistic uh, um, landscape taken by a picture or if you prefer from an already existing artwork. So first of all the horizon, <laughs> I, I never put the horizon horizontal because it's boring so I try to create a dynamic image, dynamic picture so uh, there, there, there is always a slope in my point, by my point of view because I'm um, trying to figure out how um, you can dynamically elaborate the image so my point of view is like a photographer who is walking on the beach so there is the um, there is an uh, irregular uh, grounds and then some drop of water give you some impression of rain coming because the there is a thunderstorm on the on the on the infinite um, distance coming I already done the, the first wash so this second wash in order to do that I need to pre-wet the paper just on the upper part with the horizon line and then I start putting the indigo plus ultramarine color then I add a little bit white because I would like to, to have a, a, a cerulean and then I try to use my skills with the brush to create some lost and found uh, edges because the mountains on the distance are not so evident, are not so clear, there's no uh, line that defines the edges actually then I used mm, burnt sienna and ultramarine to create an impression of some weak shadow on the on the beach okay on the sand and then a green because the water um, is always green when the water approaches the beach I just made a test there is too much humidity on the water, on the paper so I dried it up using a hair dryer and there we try working wet on wet to give an impression of um, crystalline and uh, uh, turquoise water. I add the uh, foam that is always uh, on the top of, uh, uh, of a wave when the wave approaches the river, the, the, the side of the beach. So. This is almost uh, um, the density of this color is really high. Uh, you, you, you can see I used uh, barely the, the, the tube color, uh, adding almost nothing of water on it. And these are brush strokes using dry brushing technique.
Gocciani Bonazzi Unico Infinito Series 856 Number 2 